Hi there guys, this is Kaiser. It's my first video uh talking talking. Alright. Um so yeah, I'm back on YouTube. Here in my channel you can uh, watch some uh, scalps that I did in the past, like uh, one year ago or so. Um after posting that videos, I focused more on X on my X account, but unfortunately I got I got banned. Uh, so my account, my main account still exists, but it's, it's worth nothing right now. I can't do anything. I already tried everything I could to get it back, but I can't. Uh, unfortunately, X confuses me as a fucking bot. I don't know why. Uh, after three years of doing the same thing, working, that's the, the true I was working on that account. I have a lot of of my crypto journey uh, in that account, so I had to create a new one. Um, it's already in the in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm back making content. Um, so my objective here is to start making videos of technical analysis, of um, fundamental analysis as well. And um, before I got banned from from Twitter, um, I was planning to make some lives uh, with my city friends, okay? And uh, I got a, a bit uh, unmotivated after lost my account with almost uh, 1k followers i truly believe that i was on the world to 2k by now um never bought a single a single follower never got clout of big accounts actually with <laughs> uh tweeted um one of my posts about hark reactor but yeah i'm here again so in these videos, I'm st I will start today with uh, with charting. Okay, that it, it's my it's my real passion. It's it's the chart, um, the magic that we can do with these imaginary lines. <laughs> um, so today I'm gonna talk about basic support and resistance zones, liquidity zone, and naked point of control. Better explanation. The right name is Fixed Range Volume Profile. So I'm going to start obviously by BTC, Ethereum, and then FET. That was my my first altcoin to give me some nice profits. Um, I'm going to start charting by zero, a naked chart. I'm going in this video. I'm going only use daily charts all right it's uh, always easier to understand and uh, you always have a clear clear uh chart so let's start by bitcoin all right this is the daily chart of bitcoin all right and immediately when you start looking to this chart you can identify it you can always, sorry for that. Um, when you start looking, you immediately can see on this daily chart that we are in the range. Okay, this is the the current range, right here. Okay, so let's start by the easiest part. That is, let's identify the support. All right, the support zone is R. Support zones are the levels the zones and never i think i think um, when you start to gain some experience you need to always drawing a zone and not a precision uh line okay so support zones let's look where the price always bounce okay i will start and i would say right here i'll change this color We'll pick this one here simple gray what do you think 
we got here we got a max pump here we close here we open this candle here we come here and we have a bounce bam here we have a fell off maybe some kind of fake news or something like that but we touch in this zone and we bounce once again here we, we pump we form the liquidity zone but i'm going to hit that later okay i'm going to just change the color i always like i don't know why man i always like to have the liquidity zone in blue and i'm going to write whoop, liquidity liquidity we hit this making resistance and create in this week here liquidity okay then we fell off again we dump and we hit what this same level as here and what we have again a pump bam and we form here a resistance okay I'm going to change this, the same color as the support okay now we have oh like this yeah okay so we're here right we were here we found support here we bounce hit with resistance we bounce again we jump it again bounce again hit sub, hit resistance again i'm going to write not confuse resistance and here i'm going to write the support all right we hit the resistance we dump again where we did did we touch again before bouncing support level bam we bounce here again bam we bounce we bounce we bounce here we are forming a new resistance let me just trying to pick these things here okay i hope this do not get confusion and and uh, <clears throat> much long video so resistance again at the same level so we, we are creating here a resistance okay we, we fell again this happens this here we close here and then bam huge dump close below the support level what is supposed to happen you here when this happens you have two options or we make a deviation that was what happened or obviously that you will try to short a, um, a test of this support okay so imagine that imagine this we are here we lost support we now extend here and what is supposed to happen but we are in a bull market so this is what's supposed to to happen come here the support becoming flipping this is become uh, flipping uh, support into resistance something like this here and you uh, you lose this previous low and then you start to making a new uh price action but we are in a bull market so we made a deviation here i always use these magnets that help me to to pick the right point okay it's easier but in this situation it's easier like this here we have a deviation deviation okay deviation so we lost support but we immediately got a big bounce a big pump recovered this range okay this is a range um we, we recovered and this is the perfection all right here we got the perfection here let me check okay here he, uh, 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 okay right here i'm going to change the color of this okay i'm going to pick this one and put lower low all right this is our lower low okay and but here as you can see we made a higher low sorry like this we made a higher low we bounce and this is was the low this is the perfection all right we make a new higher low and we retest the support and the support worked again and so we have a big bounce bam this is the bounce i would say that this is 
we got a bounce right here. This made this gave us a new higher low. Okay, so this was the level to defend, as these two were, all right, and we defended well. We never uh, retested that level. We immediately got here another higher low here after making this bam bam and now we got a pump that break this resistance inside of the range we broke this resistance we hit range high all right so this is the hand the range and this can be called range high as well and here the support is also the range low I don't know how is the sound, how is everything, maybe a fucking confusing video, but we gotta start for somewhere, right? And so, yeah, here, and probably this level here is, let me check. Yeah, probably this level here, we have the mid range. Okay, mid range is the level inside of the of the peak range. We have a middle point, a middle level, where we can see has um, has a strong point, and the middle point of every range. Every range has its middle point. All right, let's check here. I'm only calling this. I'm going to do like this. Hold the boxes in the same. Uh, here, mid range. Look at this. Here we got support from mid range, support, support. Uh, here we kind of break. Probably it's not well marked, but it, it's something like like this. Okay. Um, here we have support, resistance, support, resistance, 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 and now probably we going to touch so this is what i want to see now is if we keep dumping all right it's okay if we touch in this resistance zone and hold it all right we need to hold this or even if we make something like this okay like this lost i want to see to happen the same thing that happened here all right a big bounce here a retest and then bam we are at resistance range high again okay so this is what i want to see i want to see mid-range holding right now and why is that going to happen why is that good to happen because this will create another higher higher low okay higher low this is the level to defend all right this level here of mid range and these weeks can also form a buying pressure here and if we do this if we protect this zone i want to see it if we don't break it immediately i want to see this and a new higher low around these levels to next break this resistance break range high and to pick this liquidity and we need to see after taking the liquidity the market will need to answer if we hold it or if we come here uh, around or if we hold it here and then get a bounce to 80k okay so this is what i want to see i want to see this has i'm going to do this i'm going to yeah here this is where i want the the immediately the point that we need to hold is this all right if we lose this we are going to lose the lower high and we are going to make a newer higher low and that would probably imagine that we do something like this here we lose the mid range we test it as resistance and then we came here and we lose it probably something like this will happen all right but i hope not oh, sorry so this is how I chart, maybe kind of fast, I don't know, I hope it's, it was easy to understand. 
basically you need to focus on the price the levels the zones where the price bounces and where the price gets uh rejected all right and then you can trace a range okay and you always have a range it doesn't matter if it is daily four hours 30 minutes five minutes you always will get a range and if when and when you break uh, a range you will form another range there is no chance okay there's always a range to trade okay so after you seeing all this i want to introduce you something that I, I i truly believe with experience it's gonna help you to have clear levels of a range okay and that's where it happens we use fixed range volume profile okay i'm going to pick it i'm going to choose the, the beginning of this level i'm going to push everything and it's going to form bam this is here with this tool you have everything you need to to trade a range all right it's going to help you a lot okay so first explanation this red this red line here it's the naked point of control what this means inside of this range this line here the level of this line more properly 66 okay how much 67 okay all right um we have the strongest it's the strongest point of this range is is where there's more activity okay um and it's an important and as you can see you have here you have support support resistance res it's the mid-range all right so it means that i made the mid-range well okay i'm going to delete this uh maybe not delete it just uh, let me check object tree okay mid-range curve Okay, I'm going to hide these ones here. Yeah, okay, much better now. I don't want much information to not confuse. Um, so here using just, uh, actually I'm going to do this. Okay, let's just use the fixed range, okay? Let's just use this, okay? So the, the point of control is the strongest point, all right? As you can see, support, resistance, support, resistance, resistance, resistant. We broke, and if we lose, you're watching this blue line here, it's the value area high of this range. This down here, this blue line here, it's the value area low. All right, you have all the points that matters now. So as you can see, the point of control is the stronger of all, all right? Here actually the value area high is pretty close to point of control, okay? It's not very usual, but what I want to see if we lose the value area high, as you can see, all these lines, it's important levels okay actually before we keep going let me show you this is my settings okay the first time you use it it will have different ones okay i have here the value area high immediately you can trace it by yourself it's just the strongest candle with the strongest colors you can draw the lines here okay like this as well okay and uh, i made this select value area high value area low and uh, and i have opacity of this uh at zero okay it's much better and you can do everything okay you can have these candles on the right this is the volume um down volume help volume okay okay so yeah let me put here very heavy and low I'm going to put blue like this this is 
we have the very very high okay let me do this here okay so guys what i want to see if we lose value here high as support let's guess we close below if imagine that we close here all right what i want to see point of control point of control is always the most important of a range okay it always means something that it will become resistance or support okay so this basically helps you to identify uh easier or without mistake the um, probably the the mid range of the range okay so i want to see it holding right here and then get a bounce again all right get a bounce for here all right it's not it's not a straight camel like this uh, i think i'm not expecting just on ethereum because we are close to the um, ethereum etf approval right we are pretty close to it and our halt it's gonna fucking fly soon and uh yeah so this is the levels all right you can use it to trade all right as you can see you can use all these three lines to trade the most strong is the point of control this is you can't trade all right just using a fixed range you can't this only will help you to understand the important levels of each range I hope I'm explaining good, you know, I, I, I'm really trying, uh, but my English is not the best, and this is my first video, so kind of shine, you know, <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed right now, but I hope I don't stop making videos and this will get uh, better, better performance I'm going to pick all this again not the volume I'm sorry I don't want the volume here all right you can trade here okay boys look at this imagine that we uh, when I have the long fuck long 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 uh, uh, not finding it. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Fucking dumb. Here, long position. All right. Let's long here. All right. We are getting in, in this zone. Uh, it always depends if you're trading futures. All right. But I would set the stop loss right here. This is just an example of a trade using uh, a wrench, using a point of control that is giving you confirmation of the mid range. Okay, so SCL exactly stop loss right here. Okay, okay, let me pick this one here to the resistance. Yeah, so this is. A trade that I would take, right? Defending the point of control with this week here has the the stop loss, okay? But it always depends on in what you're doing, what you're risking, all right? I'm not here to to, to teach you how to trade yet, uh, but it, it's an example, all right? I hope you you have understand that. So this is the picture you have to keep in your mind, all right? So, and uh, let's move on to Ethereum.